We need to start recognizing that there's simply not enough time for people to enjoy all the diversions on offer. From a stock picking perspective, that means you need to be more circumspect about these companies that require the consumer's attention. In other words, there's just too much darn competition. We've already seen it happen in the food delivery space where Grubhub is being eaten alive by Postmates, DoorDash, Uber Eats. I think the streaming video spaces may just get too difficult with so many new services launching over the next few months. Maybe that's the real casualty here. The problem is there are only a handful of companies that offer you a genuinely great user experience at an incredible price. And in some ways, those companies have become too successful for their own good. And those companies are Facebook, Amazon, Apple, Alphabet. They've become so big and so powerful that the regulators and many in Congress want to put a stop to their expansion. They certainly won't be allowed to keep consolidating. Now, it might be more convenient for us if Facebook owned Twitter and Snap and Shopify, but that's textbook anti-competitive behavior. The regulators now will never allow it. It might make it easier viewing experience if Apple owned the rights to the NCAA, the NBA, the NFL, and Major League Baseball. Again, that ain't going to happen. Maybe it would make sense for Alphabet to acquire Walmart in order to teach Amazon a lesson. Maybe it makes sense for Amazon to take over FedEx so we can get next day delivery anywhere on Earth. But the regulators will never allow that. And that's probably a good thing. By the way, I know they wouldn't buy Walmart, but they would buy Target. Now, we keep buying the cloud kings. And that works. Stocks like Salesforce, Workday, ServiceNow, on fire there, Salesforce. But you know what? They've gotten so big that they're bumping up against each other. And the government's not going to let Adobe or Salesforce roll them up. The bottom line, starting tonight, with these two big stellar earnings reports that should have generated gigantic moves in stocks, we need to recognize that for many of the largest companies in this market, companies I love, time and government antitrust enforcement are going to matter a whole lot more than the Fed going forward. You need to factor in the clock and learn to separate the things that give you more minutes from the things that devour your time. And you need to understand that the bigger Facebook and Amazon and Apple and Alphabet get, the more pushback they'll get from Washington. Fact of life. Get used to it. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.